As of January 22, 1973, the Supreme Court passed the Roe v. Wade law, which was a landmark decision which resulted in a Texas statute being struck down. The court ruled that every woman had to, had the right to decide what they wanted to do with, um, with their bodies um, without the restrictions from the government. Women are the ones who are affected with having a child, so no one else should have a say in what they choose to do with their bodies. It is, uh, it was before the Roe vs. Wade Act that the abortions were legal throughout most of the United States since the 19th century. However, even though this law was going strong for many years, it recently changed and overturned in certain states with America as of June, as of June 24th, 2022. This stated that the, um, there was no longer a constitutional right to an abortion. Before Roe v. Wade, the earlier um, rules regarding the abortions were enacted during the 1820s um, to the 1830s. And in this era, they had to deal with many women purchasing very dangerous drugs for their bodies um, that they were willing to take just because they couldn't get abortions. Um, these women decided to take these drugs anyways, even though they knew that it was very fatal to them. Um, and even though that these drugs were broadcasted as fatal, um, they would still not be banned from selling them. Women would still be taking these, selling and taking these drugs because they were so desperate to get the, um, to get a baby out of their body, um, in any possible way that they could, even though the government would not let them get an abortion they had to do what they had to do with their own bodies um before uh this happened um people that girls wanted to they because they were so desperate they wanted to um get these children out of their bodies without getting into trouble they knew that if they did get an abortion or you know if they got caught taking these drugs to get the baby out they would get in trouble they would get fined or jailed which is kind of the same thing now um which is why you would see on social media and everything that like um it's kind of like we're going back in time because back in the day before the 19th century women were having to deal with this women were having to find different ways to get rid of babies and that's kind of the same thing with that we're doing now um some of these drugs were you know as i said they were fatal um to women who consumed it fatal obviously to the baby but also fatal to the woman itself and the fact that women were able were willing to go to these extreme lengths to you know that could have resulted in killing them as well shows how um how serious and how sad it is that you know um we have to go to these extreme lengths to deal with you know not having a baby at the time that you know it's not when it's not convenient for us which is why these drugs at, um, back then were so popular. I personally think that um, abortions should be legal in every single country. And honestly, now that there's been a recent overturn in the law in some countries, it like it makes me really like emotional and upset um, and really just concerned for um, the country of, of America and what it's to come. Creating a child is a two-person job, I believe, but there's only one person who ends up getting affected by pregnancy, and that's the woman. I think that it's so ignorant how it's mostly men who make up these rules that affect women, and it's not fair to make rules and judge someone when you have no idea what it feels like to be in this predicament. It's very easy to shame someone for their actions when you yourself are not and have never been in this situation before. So you do not understand how it feels and what it's like to, you know, have a baby when you're young or you've, you know, been victimized and, you know, you didn't choose to have this child. Um, you don't understand how it feels. Getting pregnant when you're at a young age and not ready for children is a, a very common and valid reason to not want to have a child. However... Simply just not wanting to have a child because you're not ready and or you just don't want to put your body through that is also um, reason enough. Like, I don't think that people, the men who are making these rules for us, understand the process of excruciating pain.
that we have to go through and that should be reason enough for us to not want a child unless you're capable of getting pregnant with a child you should not have a say in how women choose to use or not use their bodies ever since the recent change in certain states of illegalizing abortion again there's been so many women who have had to drive or fly to different states or even countries just because they're not protected by their own government I think that people who made this law are very inconsiderate and didn't take into account what this means for certain people, such as women or children who have been raped. There was a recent case in um, that I read from The Time, and this was in 2022, so last year, um, and I read it in a Time article by Sol Reese Berga, and um, this case talked about a 10-year-old girl who had to travel from her home. Um, she was from Ohio, all, and she had to fly all the way to Indiana just so she could receive an abortion. Why did she need an abortion? Because she was raped. She was a 10-year-old girl, and she was raped, and because no one was there to protect her, and I mean her government when I say this, um, she had to go to a whole different country to get this baby out, even though she was a child herself. These are the type of cases that have been nationally broadcasted to show that how these new laws are affecting us women. The child was about six and a half weeks pregnant and could not get an abortion just because there was a fatal heartbeat. This is a terrible rule because the child clearly didn't know that she was pregnant until it was too late. Too late. She had to go seek a doctor who would be willing to do the procedure and luckily she found a physician named Dr. Caitlin Bernard who agreed to do this. This was a classic example of how these new abortions, or new abortion restriction laws were already harming women. There are definitely many other women who are suffering from the same issue, but imagine how a 10 year old girl would have felt if she had to go through childbirth. A 10 year old girl who isn't even old enough to go through her puberty, who hasn't gotten her period yet. This is who they were willing to allow to conceive, conceive a child, a child, someone who is a child herself. So it's really alarming and concerning how our government, you know, the president, whoever, wherever you're from, would allow this, these rules. And it's just like really sickening and really saddening how the people who are making these laws are not the ones who have to deal with it and go through it. And I find it very, you know, interesting how this is the case. Just men, you know, making rules that have nothing to do with them.